Pinks here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about what to say to people when they are like, why do we even need feminism anymore? Isn't it totally irrelevant? I live in a very middle class, very white, quite small city where people are quite close minded about being anything different to what they perceive as the norm. Um, but it's not really racism or homophobia that I deal with the most. It is people taking the piss, ridiculing me, putting me down for being a feminist, for believing that men and women aren't currently equal and that they should be. I get so frustrated by this and it leads to vaguely amusing but silly situations like the following. So I'm hanging out with my two best friends, one guy, one girl, I'm talking about feminism and um, my friends are just completely adamant that I'm being ridiculous and that everything between men and women is just fine and peachy and there's nothing to be done. I tried to explain like some of the basic divides between the genders but they just weren't having it. Their attitude was, I can't see the patriarchy so it doesn't exist. So I threw them out of my house. Yeah, not cool. I know, total overreaction. But um, their apathy just saddened me to the extent that I didn't really want to talk to them at that moment. In retrospect, it was not the most mature reaction and not the right thing to do. And luckily, we soon made up. It was all cool in the end. Anyway, now when people ask me why feminism needs to exist, I don't chuck them out of my house. <laughs> I give them some of the following answers. Because, like, for a long time... Uh, when people challenged me on my views, I found it really hard, like I froze up and didn't know what to say, and that isn't really helping anybody, is it? So yeah, reason number one. Money. This argument is genuinely, like, useful for people who don't really give a fuck about feminism or politics, um, and aren't down for, like, a super detailed discussion of the second sex and um, the female eunuch. <laughs> um, it's the wage gap. It's massive. It's gross. Yeah, there's a 17% gap between what men and women are paid for full-time work and 38% for part-time work. Um, even though it's been over 40 years since the Equal Pay Act was passed in this country, women aren't paid the same as men. You can illustrate how not cool this is to people by being like, imagine such a disparity between people with curly hair and straight hair. They're both just accidents of birth. They shouldn't affect your, like, wage-earning potential. Ugh. Uh, number two. Women are largely absent from higher positions in the public sphere. Like, less than 3% of Fortune 500 companies are headed by women. Um, there are no women in the most coveted jobs in the cabinet at the moment, like Chancellor of the Exchequer, Prime Minister. There's only been one female Prime Minister of this country, and the less said about her, the better. Um, Italy, Japan, Russia, America, none of these places have even ever had a female leader. Uh, women that do get into positions of power are subject to a massive level of scrutiny that just doesn't happen for men. Like poor Hillary Clinton the other day decided to go on a diplomacy like mission and had the audacity to not wear a full face of makeup. If one of the most powerful women in the world gets bitched at for doing what she wants, what hope do the rest of us have? It's crazy. Number three. In terms of, like, everyday life, slut-shaming and victim-blaming. It's rife. A third of people in a survey by Amnesty International thought that if a woman has been um, drinking, if she's drunk, she's wholly or partially to blame for her rape. And over a third think that if she's been flirting, then she's wholly or partially to blame for her rape. No, 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 just no. You know who is 100% to blame for the rape? The rapist. Guilt lies with the perpetrator of the crime and no one else. And yes, women can be racist too. Racists? Rapists too. But it is overwhelmingly men against women. <sighs> I can't even count the amount of times that like I've heard guys and other girls shame girls for their sexual exploits perceived or otherwise. 
I mean, I've even done it in the past, and I'm so glad I woke the fuck up and realised that it's not on. Like, no. So yeah, there's three good reasons to suck at people when they're like, um, feminism has gone too far or is irrelevant. And unfortunately, there are a hell of a lot more issues like where that came from. We haven't even touched on things like <sighs> female infanticide in India, the fact that women in Saudi Arabia aren't allowed to drive, female circumcision in some African countries. People who assert that feminism shouldn't exist anymore need to check their damn privilege if it hasn't directly affected them. Have some empathy and realise that the battle is far from over. It's up to us to educate people. Yeah, go forth.